Hello, Kit Heads. We are talking Kit, the home of the greatest football kit content in the whole entire world. Jay might have something to say about that, but I'm saying it anyway, regardless. We are obviously talking Kit. And I'm Double A, and that's the Kit, kit King Dom, and that's Jay from Retro Football Kit. And as you can probably tell, it's Wednesday, so it means we have kicked open the doors to the rank bank at a brand new time as well. We're a lot earlier. We've, it's like we've got a curfew, we've got a bedtime, we've got to be in bed for half nine. We're on tag. <laughs> yeah, we're on, t- we're on tag. We've got an Asbo. What happened with rapping to Asbos? They just disappeared. Uh, they died a death, didn't they? Everyone had an Asbo. Everyone had an Asbo. No, we're at a brand new time, six o'clock. We're coming a lot earlier, which happens a lot. I hear, I hear. But, yeah. um, I never had, that never had that problem. Never had that problem. <laughs> we're going to get into it another full kit rankers we've got 10 more shirts from the rank bank the five of us us three here our guest and obviously Sean who's not with us this week have all ranked them individually I then scored them and we've got our definitive list to go with it all that's what we do for, for you every single week here on full kit rankers and yeah I'm double A I've got kit king Dom with me Dom what's going on pal how are you doing all good, yeah. Uh, can't complain. Getting out and about, doing little bits, picking up little shirts, picking up bigger shirts for me as well. Uh, <laughs> of um, but yeah, all good. You? No, absolutely sound, mate. I'm absolutely sound. I'm looking forward to another great episode. I think the guest we've yes. got on is coming back for the second appearance, but you just know it's going to be it's going to be one of them cracking episodes this week. I think. Um, but other than that, you know, United winning. Have you have you found that you talk a little bit of football for once? How's that? How are you finding that? All right, I, I'm enjoying it. I'm uh, well, I'm kind of getting used to it now as well, which is nice. But then I'm a bit worried, like it's lulling me into a false sense of security. Yeah, I've been I've been a uh, Kelly in it. You might trip me once, but yeah, I'll let you trip me then. I, I like milkshake. Yeah. I just thought you were going to start screaming then. Like, I hate you so much. I said, I've not even done anything to you. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, no, that's fair, mate. If, you, if, if you're happy with it and you know it, clap your hands. You didn't even clap your hands. Uh, yeah, well. uh, Jay, we'll move on to you. Um, thanks for coming. It's been a while since you've been on. Thanks yeah, for coming yeah, back. Been, uh, yeah. No, don't worry. It's always, always a pleasure. No, it, the pleasure, honestly, mate, is always all ours. Obviously, from from Retro, who sponsored the show, um, I will I'll bring that up in a little bit for you. Um, obviously, we've got our normal due diligence to do and our little bit of um, admin to do. But how are you finding everything? It seems like the content at the minute, mate, is absolutely smashing it. Thanks, so, mate. I appreciate I that. To, I have to thank you for that. The the last video you did, which was the 30 runs in, in 30 shirts, was it? Yeah, Not yeah, thirty different kits. Yeah, spectacular. Was, thank you, mate. I do really appreciate that. That was a mammoth edit. Look, I look, I didn't even do the run in. My mate Josh did the run in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there, like, oh man, that edit, Jesus. But uh, he actually did the exercise. But yeah, no, I'm really happy the way that one turned out. It's a really, really cool video, and and I'm hoping people get involved. Because I'm hoping people in the community do their own little kit run. So, yeah, yeah. thank you for that. Oh, of course, mate. Absolutely. You know, I, I like to praise people when they do a good job. That's why I've never said anything nice to Dom. But it, it's fine. <laughs> You're spectacular, Dom. You're spectacular. I praise you all the time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I don't need those menial plaudits. They're, they're for people who, who worry about whether or not they're doing a good job. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> That's fair. Well, I know, Jay, uh, I did have a little chat with you about an idea that I had that's similar. So we may have to combine it, and I'll have to get involved a little bit. I think that would 100%, be hundred percent, man. That would be wicked, to be fair. Brilliant, mate. Thank you again for joining us. It's nice, you know, have a a, a different, prettier face uh, than Sean's on the show. So that's that's always nice. Don't do worry. I'll step up when I need to. <laughs> like to it, unlike Frank Lampard. Never mind. We won't. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. This is a safe space. <laughs> We're talking about football kits. Lampard's okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, obviously, Jay's link will be in the bio to Retro Football Kits. Make sure, if you haven't already, you should be. I don't know why you wouldn't be. Make sure you're checking out videos over on the channel. There's a great United one. I say it every time you're on, but it's a great United one there. Top five United shows. Pretty, pretty spectacular. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so okay, there's right. something a little bit different about that one. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Pretty a person. I don't know. No, we, we'll, we'll move on. We'll move on. We'll get we'll get this week's guest on, uh, shall we? Um, he's been on before. I think that episode was chaos when he was on a few a few weeks ago. I'm expecting I'm expecting the same again. Uh, recently filmed a Desert Island kits with him, and I'll tell you now, it it was it got weird. It got it got very weird, but it was fun at the same time. And I'm excited for you to see it when it does eventually come out. Um, He's everyone's favourite. He's my favourite. He should be your favourite as well, obviously. He's the king of Instagram lives. It's Dan. Shirt hits the fan. What's up, pal? Thank you for I'm joining good, us. Mate. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just sat here with Sean Derry's dehumidifier. To like Sean. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, yeah. Cracking, cracking game at Fratton Park. Fuck all yeah. goal. Brilliant. Loved it. Yeah. Who points? Okay. Yeah, love it. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah, lovely one. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we wouldn't know. We wouldn't know, would we, lads? We're not, we're not in that stratosphere. Uh, but no, other than that, you've had... How have you been since last time we've seen you, mate? Everything going all right? Uh, my sexual preferences have changed. Um, okay. okay. Yeah, good. <laughs> really, anything, really good. Anything to do with ET, by any chance? Uh, yeah, mate, might, might have something to do with that little bike stealing prick. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good, to be fair. Um, yeah, it's all right. I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what I don't like doing is organising a, a football kit versus boot collector match for 40 people on my own. I, I, I don't like that at all either. So, oh, yeah, that's, that's been my life. That's the big news in my life. Yeah. Bu- buying shit lots of fucking kit. Um <laughs> And you're arranging in, cameramen in, in Essex. Yeah. You're in the right place. I mean I mean Jay's part of retrofootballkits.co.uk. I mean you should be shouting him. They've got a sale on at the minute. Why are you shouting him? Go on, man. Jay. Camera, man. <laughs> 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 you know the kit. Yeah, good. How are you boys, all right? Oh, all right. Sound, mate. Absolutely sound. Um looking forward to this episode. I feel, I feel like it's gonna be a good one today. So, if you don't know, uh, let me just get this out of the way. For not get out of the way, that sounds really bad. But as Jay's here, and obviously we do every single time, Retro Football Kits obviously sponsor the show. And at the moment, they've got a massive twenty percent off sale. Twenty percent off sale? No, save it. No, they've got a sale for twenty percent. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, and it's site wide. It's all automatically applied. No need for those pesky codes, even though codes are good. Um, let me tell you. So yeah, it's going on indefinitely. Jay, is that the that the rumor on the kit it's mail? Definitely going to end soon, though. We've had it on a little while, so you know, if you if you've had an eye on a shirt, make sure you get it now. Yeah. So I think that what that means is that we're running out of stock, so you might have to get there quick, guys. Um, but no, go check out retrofootballkits.co.uk. Twenty percent off sale wide. I mean, sale wide, site wide. What am I talking about? <laughs> go and buy a shirt. That's what I'm telling Please. you. Go to the site and go and buy. A- Bloody shirt. That's what you like. That's what you're watching this video for. Come off and buy a shirt. Um, there we go then. Right, this week's theme of this show, the 10 shirts that we pulled out of the rank bank. I thought it's getting to the business end of the league season in Europe. You know, we can see potentially some teams that are definitely going to win the league. Some that are bottling it, it seems, and letting the second team creep up on them. Uh, and some, are, 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 it's neck and neck. So uh, I thought what we would do is we would get 10 league leaders from across Europe and then we would pick their third shirts. I think it's a bit easy sometimes to go home and away. So I thought, third shirts, why not? It's a bit of a mixed bag. Um, or totally shit, as what as what Dan messaged me uh, in his email with his scores last night. Uh, but no, I thought we'd just look through some different shirts this time. Um, yeah. Guys, how did we find ranking these? If, if I can quote you, Dan, it was... This was a real shit race to the bottom after the first two, is that what you said? Yeah, yeah I'd say after the first two, yeah. the, the other eight were involved in a murder. And, <laughs> and, only, and only one of them probably had the common sense to say no comment in the interview with the police. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. That, that's how bad it was. So, um, so what I'm getting, and, what I'm and, the, and the, the top two got out of the car and ran away. So right. they were all right. I mean, we've all been there. Yeah. Yeah. Dark yeah. place, mate. But you live with it. Every day you see the face. 
Uh, you wake up, you live with it, you wash your face, you brush your teeth in the mirror, you see in those faces again, the blood, the pain, the anguish. Did you ever then, get confused? You know, then you get a, like a Milan 93 away kit and it sort of just erodes the pain a bit. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, did anyone like any more than two? Like, on, on like, that. like? Oh, no. I mean, they weren't that bad. They weren't that bad. They weren't now, that there's, bad. A solid, there's a solid three or four in now, I thought. Three or four, okay. Fair enough. Uh, I will say the bottom stunk. I, I, some of them did stink. What I can say is that there were there were definitely ten shirts. Yeah, there was definitely mm. ten. There was definitely ten. Mm-hmm. Strap, mm-hmm. Apologies to anyone who's really into the Belgium league, but your leaders, Genk, don't have a third shirt. So that's not my fault, right? I was going to have him. They don't have a third shirt, and I'm not going away. I'm not. I'm not changing it. So you you live and you learn. <laughs> I'm a third shirt. You anyway, could, you, could say they're Belgian. you could say they're Belgian and they've got a bit of common sense and realise if they look at the other teams in the league that they might only need a different colour to the teams they might clash with and they sense. might not need to be taking the piss. Yes, you don't, you don't need to exploit the fans. You know what? You've, you've hit the nail on the head there. Napoli, if you're listening. Uh, what? Right. <laughs> what we'll do is we shall move on and we'll get into this week's uh, 10 shirts and we'll go down from 10 to 1. Like I say, all five of us have ranked. So, Sean is not here. So, he has kindly given me his scores as well as night out ratings for everyone. So, yes, the night out ratings will be here. You don't have to worry about that. Um, so, yeah, let's get into shirt number 10. And I think it's a shirt that rightly is bottom of the list. Only got 11 points from the rankers. And we're off straight to the Netherlands. And it's Feyenoord with their... Absolute template of a shirt. And, uh, yeah, it's their third shirt. Pink and black. Uh, bottom of the list, it, you stick a, an Exeter badge or a Forest Green badge, and it's their kit, and it? it's a template. Nothing. Um, Sean, similar to myself, had it bottom. And his night out rating, is six, he'd give it a 6 out of 10, though. So I think he would wear it. He just wouldn't like it. Where should we go? Who should we go with? Um, Jay, returning for a little bit. Six on your list. Mm. Why was that? <laughs> because genuinely, there's four worst kits, right? Because I know that sounds very obvious, but for me, obviously, it's just a template. But like some of the other ones took a template and like shat on it. This is just the template. They've used nice color. I love a bit of a bright pink on a kit. You know, it's just simple, nice, clean, and it it wasn't offending me. I think some of the other ones that we'll get onto like annoyed me enough to go below this, whereas this kind of stayed very neutral, nice pink, and I kept it there. So that's why it's kind of stayed at six and didn't sink any lower. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, the collar, though, that must annoy you. It does a little bit. It does a little bit. But I think, um, I mean, from, from that photo there, it's not too bad. I think the cutoff is just quite abrupt, but I can live with that. Oh, fair enough, mate. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, Dom, uh, Come to you. You you only thought one shirt was worse than it because you had it in in ninth place. I mean, sometimes templates can be good, but sometimes templates can be bad. And this would I would say is a bad template. Uh, I would rather have ten plates than this. <laughs> Just a series of <laughs> like crockery well, rather than this. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> and that's not a nice though, pink, Jay. Is that, like... is that mix and match crockery? Or like not like IKEA, or would it be yeah. like a, a, a Denby sale box? <laughs> yeah, that the first one. Mix and match. Man, like, man for like a crockery season. pick and mix. Yeah. Um but yeah, that it's not a nice pink either. Jay thinks it's a nice pink. It's it's like an Ann Summers sex party pink. And I don't know. You're, you're yeah. saying that as if it's a bad thing, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when you've been the only guy in one of them parties. That's what you just said. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no, and uh, Euro Parks, what is it? Is it Centre Parks? I don't know. It's a sponsor. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's clearly the European version of Centre Parks, but apart from the the nude all the time. Because they they, they freak me out a little bit. I think there's cult things happening at them kind of gaffes. (laughs) Okay. Um, yeah, it's a bit weird. So yeah, not not much to like for me. 
not a fan then. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this one. Um, Dan, we'll, we'll, we'll finish off with you. Say the, the best to last. Lovely. After, after well, the sex party. Yeah, great. You said, you said ninth as well. The clean-up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like the, the back end of the fluffer. I'm like the anti-fluffer. <laughs> It's getting too warm. Calm in everybody place. down afterwards. Bring <laughs> some biscuits. Here he is. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. His tits are popping now. Um, <laughs> got me excited, lads. <laughs> got a bead on. Good. Well, this shirt won't going to get you excited anyway. Oh, excited. mate, no. It's just garbage, isn't it? It's just, uh, yeah, it's proper Sunday league. Um, yeah, just awful. Europarks. Just, yeah. Oh, oh, that's so creepy. Cool. Oh. It's not Eurobox, it's Eurovision. It's just a pack. Um, <laughs> no point. No point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, just, just, yeah, yeah, Europark, Centre Parks. It's a very creepy, creepy environment, you know. Um, I don't know. Kids golf two quid, but only a company buy an adult paying 25, you know. It's just it's <laughs> towels. Yeah, there's a towel, that's three quid. Um, yeah, the whole thing is just a scam. I, no, I'm not a fan. Crap kit. Um, literally is like, oh shit, we've got to play someone who isn't wearing one of the other colours. So, uh, like, I don't know, Heron Bean or something like that, they might have had. And so, just yeah. went quick, let's knock out this one. What aren't, what aren't Heron Bean covered in? This, this, that'll do. Quick, knock it up. That'll do. Get, stop, stop fucking around, just get it out. It looks shit. Shut up, get done. That's it. And the insights we need is there, absolutely spot on. Uh, Feyenoord currently eight points ahead of Ajax with 28 games played in the league. <laughs> If you're interested to know how far they are, obviously being the league leaders. Uh, bottom of the list this week, 10th place, Feyenoord with their, just a third shirt, that's pretty much what it is, 11 points. You can see how poorly rated it was with a jump up you'll see in the next shirt. Uh, ninth on our list this week with 20 points. We're heading north of the border, lads, and we're going to go and see oh. Celtic with their third shirt. No. No. Come on. No, right, no. I mean, right. So I'll give my two pennies worth quickly. Celtic and Adidas have done some wonderful things. You think of the fourth shirt. Shout out to Jay's video. He spoke about it. Um, it was, it's beautiful. This looks shite. Great, great kits, apart from United's 90, 90s one, are all rubbish. It reminds me a lot of the United one that had the horrible version of the Holy Trinity in it. It's just not nice. I just don't get, I just don't get it. So that's why I put it ninth on my list. Um, Dan, we'll, we'll finish with you. We'll start with you because this was the bottom of the pile for you. Tell tell them why it's the worst of the, the ten, please. Oh, mate, it, it's easy. It's, it's literally slap bang right in the middle of it. Uh, Daffa bet. Yeah. <sighs> what is that about? Pizza up, little logo gif above it, and then <laughs> some sort of bet. Anything, anything betting on it is just. It's straight, it's straight in the bin, but just yeah. sell it. Yeah, I don't know. Just they they got two great kits this year. Who are they clashing with? Why do they even need a third kit? No. Like who's wearing who's wearing really dark green and green, and who's wearing so it's, they're not going to clash with Hibernian in, in their away kit. So why do they even need this kit? Yeah, it's just one, it's pointless, and two, it's just just so it's just you know shirt noise. I say every time it's just shirt noise. It's just, just quickly let's just knock something up and. That's it. You know, just, just rubbish. Just absolute rubbish. And, oh, and we'll quickly stick some. Um, I don't know what is that like fern leaves rolled out on the arm. <laughs> is it the architecture? Oh, oh god, is it? Is it really? Oh, I, don't, I, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Shit. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm grey kits. This is the only good ever grey kit that's ever been, and this was a fur kit. It's the most pointless third kit that's ever been, but that is. <laughs> Turd. <laughs> the Everton turd. one was decent as well. Which one? The Everton one. Oh yeah, that wasn't too bad actually, was it? Similar yeah. template to that, innit? Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, not too bad. Give but it. that's poor. Yeah, I'm not a fan, not a fan. And and no. also like I'm much more Rangers leaning. Um well, we don't want to know about your political <laughs> persuasion. Yeah. We're not, we're not getting into that. We're not, we're not causing all that nonsense. But, <laughs> as, you, as you mentioned it, Celtic are 12 points ahead of Rangers. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> uh, 
and should we go, Jay, we'll come to you next. Um, uh, like, for me, a problem of it is you can't really see the badge. Mm. And that's a main thing on a, on a kit. You decided to put this in seventh place. So, you know, it's kind of getting towards the bottom. Because, yeah. Like, you, like you've alluded to in your video with, with, with that four kit, they can get it right at the Edison Celtic. For you, have they got this wrong? They got this so wrong. Uh, seventh feels high, but it's it's just... I didn't rate this at all. Like it is, it is not a nice kit. The grey is grim. I hate the the colour match with that weird highlighter yellow. Yeah. I, I, it's just a disgusting colour to look at. Like when you look the both of them together, not a fan. And yeah, like the 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 <clears throat> everything. So like the Daffa Betts kind of outline is really thick, but then the thing above it has a smaller outline. Adidas has no outline, and then the Celtic one has just a one circle outline. Like it's, it has no cohesion. It's annoying and it's disgusting. Yeah. I, I hear exactly what you're saying, mate. Uh, <laughs> Sean, for some reason, decided to put this in fourth. You can always expect those Ooh. really weird wild cards with an eight out of ten night out rating as well. Um, so <laughs> maybe a night out in Celtic, in Celtic, maybe. in Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> make of that, make of that what you will. Um, I mean, I even think they're wearing it there against a team that wears black. If you look. Why? I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand it at all. With black shorts as well. You don't need to do it, lads. You don't need to do it. Um, don't it's worth they make a, they're making a Joma kit look half decent. How bad is that? <laughs> oh, that's low. Yeah, that's too, that's too. I too far. Too far. <laughs> Quickly then, Dom. We'll finish off for you. Uh, fifth on your list, the middle of the road. Did you actually? Like a little bit of this. Is this something? I liked you... maybe the sleeves of and the um the healthy piss yellow of the um colorway. <laughs> I think that's the actual colour code for it. Um, and the fact that he's going, Where's the fucking badge? Where is it? <laughs> I can't see it, boys. I can't see it. <laughs> he just grabbed it. Now he's putting on the daffer bet, like he's like Keith Gillespie, he's like mate. Like, yeah. Um, Three to one. I think I think um, they're making progressive steps because the last like grey, silvery kit they had was with the pink, and they think they're just oh, yeah. going through highlighter colours and grey. So yeah, I'm <laughs> waiting for what the next iteration is. But yeah, and the sleeves weren't too bad. Obviously, um, I just like Celtic and I hated some of the other shirts a bit more. Yeah, no, that's fair. But they won't have a highlighter blue. I'm guessing they're going to go highlighter orange or, or green next. I guess, isn't it? Uh, right, okay. There's, there's our ratings on this one. It's uh, Celtic and their third shirt from this season. 20 points overall from the rankers. Um, do you know what I've not done? And I need to do it. And it's ridiculous I've not said it yet. So I'll stop the show here and say it. If it is your first time talking kit, by the way, you need to smash a like on the video. You need to stop what you're doing and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification because there's lots of content coming. Um, so much show, I forget to do bits in the show that I should do at the start. So my bad. Uh, we'll move on. That's all done. Moving on to uh, my two two teams joint seventh now, both with twenty one points. The first one is uh, from these shores, from the championship, and it is obviously Burnley. FC. Burnley, Burnley. Burnley. It's Burnley. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Burnley. I see with a third shirt. It's been a third shirt. Uh, I think we should probably. I will say. I put it. Tips. I like the pattern. It's quite cool, isn't it? It's nice. Um, it's like the better version of the Feyenoord one. Same colours, but it's done, done a lot better, to be fair. There's something about it. You know, it's, it's like, do you know, you'll get two plates of chicken and someone's bothered to season it. You know, you're going to you're gonna have this one. Right? You're going to... A little bit of seasoning on your chicken goes a long way, Feyenoord. Try it once in a while. Do you like that? That's my take on, on that. <laughs> I think... Someone's definitely put it down, haven't they? In this, in, in this. Want me? Want I think me. We, yeah, let, let's have a think about it. Sponsor wise, maybe. <laughs> Someone's definitely put it bottom of the list. So I think we should probably speak to that person right away and get, get it out of the way. <laughs> the elephant in the room, twenty percent sale in the room. Um, <laughs> Jay, <laughs> it's bottom of the list, pal. Please tell us why. So. Um... Many reasons. 
<laughs> many reasons. It depends, you know, you, t- you talk about seasoning, right? It depends what kind of seasoning, isn't it? Right, because for me, <clears throat> I don't like the pattern on it. I don't, I think it's tacky. I love map sun kits. I actually really do. Yeah. And it's that, so this should be hitting the right notes for me, but I think it looks tacky. I think that looks like it could be made on PowerPoint. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and I can't respect that. I can't respect it. Um, and yeah, I don't really know where that sponsor is from. I, it's probably it's weird little <laughs> kind of company. I'm not a little sure. boutique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't know. It's, you know what it is? Probably, it's probably just a couple of guys, just two guys, probably on the road. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think so. Never, something like that. I'm, I'm they'll never make sure. it. They'll never no, make they it. But only have done a nice thing here by giving them a chance, really. But yeah, so that kind of took it down for me as well, realistically. So yeah, that's why I put it in tenth flat. I'm sorry. Not not contractual oh, obligation. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'd, I've never heard of the sponsor lads. I've never heard yeah. of them. I don't know what you're talking about. I've just never heard of. Is it? It's to, to say classic football shirts. Never heard of it. Classic foot. No, a bit weird. That. <laughs> Why has it got a little toilet sign next to it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And three different fonts. Because I think that's pointing at cold. Yeah, football shirts are the shit. That's why it's got a top. You know, we know it. Football shirts. <laughs> um, I'm probably getting, gonna get in trouble putting this shirt on. I, I don't think we'll have a sponsor next week. To be fair, I don't have. I have, <laughs> I have, I have messed up. Um, well, okay, okay uh, Dan. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you like the movie Tron. <laughs> I just love it. This reminds me of Tron, which is why I like it a little bit. Can you, you imagine like... Tron around Burnley? <laughs> you can't imagine. That'd be Just lovely. waiting from kebab shop to Greg's to kebab shop to pub to <laughs> Greg. Okay, I'll um, change my score, lads. I'll change my score. That, that's You've sold me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. I've actually met the geezer who designed this. Um, oh, and Yeah, I got to interview him when I went to Umbro. Fucking mic drop. And he... Uh, <laughs> and he's basically saying about like the uh, sort of design maths they have to do, and it's all to do with the home kit. He uh, like they've really ploughed into that as well, obviously. Um, and then the it's the whole thing where they have to do something for the purist, something for the sort of in between, um, like a classic colour combo, and then they do a third kit, which is the crazy out there kit that that, that they would do. So it's sort of they try to tick all the bases semi-commercially and this is where this I suppose this one a lot of them sort of do come but this they I think the one thing I would say is they put a bit of effort into it um so you know I mean it's not just like here's a logo here's a badge there's no correlation between the only thing I don't like about this is I'm not really a fan of neon pink and I don't to be honest I think the actual CFS logo is actually a little bit lost on it um and a map of Burnley might not be like the best thing that's ever been um, so yeah, it's sort of, I don't know, I, I, I tell you what, a band across the middle would be quite nice, like a little sponsor band, yeah, which yeah. I did when they sponsored us for Shirts Boots One two years ago. So there we go. Where we go then? Uh, no, that, that, that's fair, mate. That, that's absolutely spot on. Really. Yeah, Dougie, oh. give some more money. So you had it, you had it seven, <laughs> you did have it seven, yeah, you did have it seven as well. To be fair. Yeah, <laughs> any list. Um, Third. Why not? I told you. You tell us why. Sex party pink. And um, you know when you put the sat nav on late at night and it lights up like that. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Reminds me of going home. Um, (laughs) (laughs) And I think is is the stadium where the Burnley badge is on this, Dan? Oh, I don't know, mate. I don't know. They're asking now. I think, I think it is. Right, town this is what you should have asked them at Umbro. Uh, yeah, yeah I, think, I think it is. Knowledge. It's good to have knowledge, mate. Isn't it? Yeah. Good to have knowledge. <laughs> I'm not flying in, not knowing. <laughs> but yeah, I can deal with it. Plus, um, yeah, everyone I met from Burnley is just lovely. It makes me feel awesome. Funny story. When I was in college, I used to... Work part time for a like um, stewarding company. We used to meet at Lancashire Cricket Ground. We used to do uh, Burnley games. Um, so I used to do anyone like proper Div Div One, like lower lower down. 
and no one would go to the away end. So you'd always offer to go to the away end because you just sat on your ass watching the game. And halftime entertainment used to be the guy from remember the Safe Style UK adverts. And you buy one, you get one free. I say you buy one, you get. He used to come on at half time and sing uh, I Would Walk 500 Miles. <laughs> I, there once, I was like, what is going on? I would buy 500 windows. Yeah. <laughs> at, least, at least with this, they'd know where they were walking. That's, that's true. That's true. And, you know, it fits in. Maybe he designed it. I don't know. But yeah, that's just, you know, my, type, my experience of Burnley is watching lower league football there, uh, meant to be working, getting paid for it, seeing a concert from the Safe Style UK guy. So, you know. I'm all for Burnley. I'm all for them. Uh, but there, there we go. Burnley, a joint seventh this week. 21 points overall. Their third shirt. Probably going to be in the Premier League next season under big light bulb bed, Vincent Company. So that should be fun for everyone. Um, we'll move on to the second. A bit um, of Mike's point of view. I <laughs> destroyed <laughs> <laughs> the championship. Probably going to be there. Yeah. Who is he? I don't know. What's he ever done? Yeah. What? I didn't even give a shot. Sean, give, Sean put it in eighth, and he also gave it a four out of ten. Um, night, night out rating. Um, but he had only nine points ahead of Sheffield United with nine games to play, Dan. That's why I'm saying it. They've not smashed it. You can get caught. Arsenal think they've won the league. We'll find out later that they're not so comfy themselves. Um, but yeah, there we go. Burnley are there. Second joint seventh team. Again, 21 points. Heading over to Portugal. Oh, there's a picture of it when he got batted by City, but no one cares. Uh, there we go. Benfica and their third shirt from this season. Like I say, 21 points. I put it in eight. I just think Benfica have had so many nice shirts. I think the away shirt this season is really nice. It's sort of yellow and, and, and black. Uh, and home shirts are always clean. Even though I do prefer Porto, but that's just me. Uh, but this I'm not too much of a fan of. Uh, they're currently seven points ahead of Porto with 27 games played in the Portuguese uh, league. Boy for the rankers. Dom, let's kick it off with you on this one. Uh, and a lovely place of... Yeah, you copied me. Eighth. You didn't copy me. You had the same. Eighth place for you. Why? You're shit, in it? It's just rubbish. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. I genuinely... I, I'm I'm all out of a description. Um, I don't like it. It's shit. Yeah. Ask someone else. <laughs> I'm, luckily, I'm not two other people. I thank fuck for that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Dan, we'll move over to you. Hopefully, you've got some. I, you put it eighth as well. Did I? Is it shit? Yeah. You know what? In that picture on the screen right now, I actually I couldn't pick up on cut of the details because I, I didn't really look too. Because as soon as I saw a little bit of it, I went, that's just turned. It's <laughs> not actually as bad as I've really thought. At least they've got the green and red collar that goes in with a badge and. Oh, that's not actually as bad. I, in hindsight, I'd probably bummed up a couple, to be fair. Shit. Okay. That's fair. Shit. Um, uh, but yeah, it's just, it is a bit, it is a, it's teetering on shirt noise. But Benfica struggled though, because they, their home kits are always so fucking dull, isn't they? Yeah. yeah. You know, and their away kit, yeah, their away kit has to always be a little bit special, almost. It's like yeah. you could almost just, just get their away kits. But this, yeah, actually, I, I wish I'd raise this higher. Actually, I, I quite like that. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. Yeah. Well, Shit. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, how bad, I'll tell you how bad this shirt is. You've not even wore it this season. I could not find one picture of them. I was going through every team's Instagram, finding pictures of them wearing it in games. This is the only one that's not been worn. I had to like really deep dive. You know, I almost went too deep into the the internet and, and nearly never came out of a, a, a really dark. Wormhole. I managed to find a picture though. Look, he's trying to rip it off. Even he don't like it. He's not. A <laughs> Get it off me. Get it off. Um, but no. Do you know why this came so high as well? Can you under, can you think what I'm going to say, Dom? You, you're used to this now. A couple of times, someone on the panel does something a bit stupid. He's already fell out with Jay. Jay's not his friend from last week because he put a shirt that wasn't the Eventer shirt, not ten. This was Sean's number one shirt this week. Nothing surprises me with that lad. Now it's almost like he's trolling. Now he's getting to the point where it's like he's trolling us, and he's having yeah, he's a, a wind up, man. <laughs> hey, Jay, the thing is, the thing is, <laughs> put, it, put it number one. He's not even giving it the highest night. I'll rate. He's only giving it an eight. Another, another shirt's got a higher one. 
I'm interested. <laughs> I'm always interested to know what's going. I say going through his head. I won't. I won't want to go through his head a little bit. I'd, I'd be scared to come back out. Have you ever seen that film? Is the film with um? Is it Piers? What's it called? Piers Finger. Brosnan. Brosnan. That's it. <laughs> you talk about lawnmower man. Yeah, and and that is his girlfriend, and she's like, <laughs> can't cope. That's like yeah. going inside. Oh, uh, Sean Sean Fay plays Lomo man, don't he? What's his name? He goes, he just goes absolutely. What a film! Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, top film. Well, that's, that's like there's no surprise there because the the worst case scenario is you're in you're in Sean's brain. You're yeah. having to fight your way out. You find like a door and then you go straight into dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, On the sequel. Imagine that. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. Um, well, I like Lomo man, but everything goes just as fast. But I'm just still as thick. <laughs> <laughs> oh well there we go then second joint seven shirt this week Benfica from Portugal leading the league like we said over their great rivals Porto 21 points over oh okay next shirt we're getting into um, sixth place 22 points only beating those two by one point and it is um, we, should, we probably should have put it higher because of what they're going through at the moment but it's this it's Shakhtar the next from the Ukraine with 22 points coming six on our list, uh, their league game, uh, their league is only 19 games at the moment, and uh, a point over the second place team. I, I know I'm going to say this wrong because I'm terrible with names. SC Nipro, is it the Nipro? I don't know. The Nipro. The Nipro. How do you not know every single Ukrainian city by now? Because <laughs> you, I, do you know what I mean. I, I do you know what BBC? No, I don't. I don't have a license fee. I don't pay it. Oh, I do. They should get a map on don't the come, shirt. Don't come around to my house. I've got a license fee. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just don't watch the news, mate. I've got enough bad stuff going on in my life. I don't need to watch the news as well to depress me even further. You know, I've got football shirts I can't fit into. Do you know what I mean? I've got a dad bod going on. What's more depressing than that? Oh, <laughs> kind of... <laughs> you really opened the door here, Dan, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Um, right. I, I put this, where did I put this? I put this seventh. It just looks like a shit Milan home shirt. That's the, it's that template, isn't it? The Milan home shirt. Yeah, I, think the, I think their home shirt is similar, but it's black and orange. I'll pass. I do like the sponsor, though. I've always liked the sponsor. Um, I'll give him that. Jay, we'll come to you, my good friend, compadre. Uh, you had it one place lower, though, than I put it, in eighth place. It was a template... I think for you, you yeah, like, oh. it's a part of that template kind of. It's a weird template, isn't it? It's not the fact that it is a template; it's just the the template itself is weird. Like, just yeah. two weird squares floating. Like they don't really; they just kind of stop. At, and I don't, I don't know. I don't like that. It doesn't seem. Does it? It just seems too kind of floaty. I like the sleeve cuffs. Though. I do really like the kind of black and orange sleeve cuffs. And like yeah. you already mentioned, the uh, sponsor looks quite cool. I don't know what parry match is though, but it just looks quite cool. But yeah, overall, it, it, it's kind of boring, isn't it? It's got a few nice moments in there. That's why it's a little bit higher for me, but it's not enough. Yeah, I, I fully, fully back you on that one, mate. Dan, I'll uh, come to you on this one. And, uh, oh, third for you in your. Yeah, I, I've got my geopolitical conscience on when I've made this one. Um, yeah, you're coming, out, you're coming out looking good. In this one. Yeah, exactly, mate. Always. Uh, I just. Uh, yeah, it's something about I've quite liked it enough. Um, obviously, parry match, uh, classic football shirts, uh, Ukrainian <laughs> counterpart. Uh, Get them down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially I did like second hand Russian tank parts. So I thought, like, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I just, I just sort of wish like, the, the parry match was um, like orange to match the sleeve cuff, and then maybe like. That top band of the of the of the sort of the panelling was yeah. it like a different grey maybe, but I like the fact that the you got black puma, you got a, a little black um, the Shakhtar badge is is, yeah. is colour match to the kit. I like again the sleeve cuff. I really like that. So yeah, if it was like again, this is this is the kit that could say no comment in the interview. It's, uh, <laughs> and it, it, it literally, if you said a kit that says no comment, it's this one, isn't it? I mean, it's grey. It's, it gets away with it. There you go. Yeah, no comment, mate. No comment. Coming Absolutely. down the wing, chop them out, did I? No, no comment. 
just all right. Just get get my solicitor. This is the best of all the shit ones. This is this is where it was for me. Okay, fair, fair enough. Uh, Sean had this in ninth place with uh, six out of ten on his night R rating. Don, we'll finish off with you. You had it in. Where did you have it? You had it sixth place, didn't you? So. Yeah. It's just one of those ones that was kind of filling a gap. You'd done your top, you'd done your bottom. Let's just fill the middle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think if the little black bit on the collar was orange, maybe it'd look like a Dorito, but it'd make it a little bit better. Yeah. That's um, a little uh, yeah. goatee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that on it. Hello. <laughs> and now I'm Alexia Lala. Alexia Lala. <laughs> from Burnley. <laughs> from Burnley, yeah. Famous Burnleyan. Burnleyan? Is that what they're called? I don't know. I'm fucking the Minotley now, you prick. Now you sound, now you sound like Sean Dash. <laughs> Lads, I'm eating gravel. Let's do it. Run the channel, boys. Run the channel. Sean Dash. Yo, uh, James Manson, uh, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't, you're not that much of a fan, then, Jay? Uh, Don? No, no, it's just a bit boring, isn't it? Yeah, fair enough. No, that's absolutely fine. Shaq Tardiness, sixth place on our list, 22 points overall. Shirt number five. We're getting in the middle of the road now. Number 28, uh, 28, 28 points on our list this week. Uh, they're doing wonders in their league. I think this is the best shirt they've done for a while, personally. Apple in their third shirt, obviously absolutely dominating Serie A this season. And they are 16 points ahead of Lazio, 29 games played overall. Uh, Sean has put it in sixth place for him, quite middle of the road, giving it a nice six out of ten again. Fourth on my list, I think. You get a lot wrong in terms of kits and the amount of kits. You know, I'm sure Dan's going to have a lot to say about about that. Um, but I think this is this is beautiful. I think this is quite nice. Really a fan of it. Kappa doing great things. Don't look at the EA seven. Uh, it's Kappa all the way in it. It's nice. It's a good shirt. Fair play to him. Um, yeah, we'll go on to the rankers. Don, we finished off with you last. We'll start with you on this one. You put this bottom of your list. Yeah, as you'll know, I'm not a principled man but I have one rule and one rule only it's put Napoli last because they're having people's eyes out and I can't stand by and let it happen I'm sure one it man, really affects a one man stand one man stand against all Napoli is that what it is yeah uh, the badges over the shoulder the oh, the sponsors too far apart no the fact that it is Capra and it's not uh, Armani um, yeah. yeah no I, I hate them I hate everything about them uh, and they're not, yeah. I just, I can't, I can't let them in. To be honest, they can bring as as many people to the door as they want. You, you're not coming in, and I look no. like a bouncer at a like a youth minister festival at the minute as well. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, no, not not tonight, lads. Do what father father Dom proper work as well. Is that like a festival for youth ministers? Or yeah, youth yeah, ministers? mate, it goes off. <laughs> you want to see? Uh, imagine that. Imagine that. That would be fun, wouldn't it? So, yeah, not for me, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, let's come to you, please, mate. Uh, you copied me. Not copied me. Same as me, fourth on your list. Yeah. I mean, like, like they do get a lot wrong. And you can talk about the amount of kits and, and people not being happy and fleecing fans and special edition Mother's Day ones or whatever. But this is actually not a bad, a bad shirt, is it? I think, like... Oh, oh it's tough. I like I'd probably like the European one where they don't have two sponsors on it. Okay. And it was just the let uh the pattern reminds me of the Atlanta um ninety one away kit. So ninety one ninety two away kit where it's got the yeah. rain. But this is like a much stormier rain. So it's like that southern Mediterranean rain. This is Union rain, rain. This. rain. Oh, this is it's, it's a grim rain. It's the it's the grim it's almost like a foreboding for the for the for the future of like Syria that, that Napoli going to impose on all the other teams this sort of Usbian Kavacha Vacha 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 Vacha, whatever his name is, him and just dominating teams for a few years. I'll, yeah, 
I do I do quite like it. And then it's yeah, it's, it's Napoli, and then you know, it wouldn't be good if they sort of faded it into the shorts. So it was all in one, like it, it yeah. did a fade through, like your favourite Man United shirt from a few years ago. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just the sheer volume of shirts. I mean, Christ! You imagine stocking that, like that club shop. Can you imagine that? Imagine no. Window dressing. They must have like they must do it in shifts. <laughs> <laughs> 20, 24 hour uh, Napoli shop and it just rotates from kits. Just the a new kit every 24 hours. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they like them. You know them flowers that only live for a day. That's what Napoli kits are like. They only survive for a day and then they change after change out. <laughs> Strong words. That's my, that's my wither and flower. <laughs> what have you yeah. done? <laughs> <laughs> Like your whispering eye. <laughs> Shivering Quim. Is that on the oh, wow. <laughs> Jay, do one. Uh, <laughs> don't follow that, lads. Come on. This is a fucking evidence reel. <laughs> oh, sugar. Um, <laughs> so you, but you had it fourth, though, Dan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. Does he take me, yeah, just take me away, boys. Take me away. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, yeah, again, it's just yeah. Third kit, take out the H. You know, there you go. So yeah, shite, shite, but not totally shite. <laughs> shite, but in your top five. Yeah, fair enough. Man. I get it. I get it. Uh, Jay, we'll. Finish off with you. One place higher than Dan and myself. You put it in third place. It, it's true. That some of the criticism we get sometimes you could say is a bit deserved. You know, you think yeah, for off. sure. But this, this is this is a nice shirt. Yeah, for sure. I mean, maybe maybe how much like shit they produce, seeing something that's kind of nice, maybe ups it a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Like with their, some of their kits this season have been so tragic that you may, when you like look at all of them and there's too many of them, the one that stands out might look nicer. You know, when you have a group of friends and they're all ugly and you're kind of not attractive, but you look better because of. That's yeah. probably what's happening in this kit. But but, uh, but I do I quite I do like the design itself. It's, it is called geometric -y kind of funky pattern, a little bit, you know, like a throwback almost to kind of graphic patterns of the 90s. I, you know what I not noticed though until Dom said it, the logos are just drifting off, aren't they? Like yeah, ridiculous. Know, like yeah. the 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 are oh, the sponsors. Like earrings. Yeah, they, they are they are doing their own thing, aren't they? Bless them. So that that would have brought it down a little bit for me if I noticed it, but overall yeah, I'm 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 kind of a fan of this. It's pretty cool. It's, it's the best one they've got so far anyway. Yeah, they taken 48 attempts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that thing, isn't it? Like, get one you, right, isn't they? If you put monkeys in a room, like they'll become art surgeons. Like get one of them will anyway. Like it's yeah. uh, it, <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, they've had that many attempts. They should all. They, they should be getting half of them that are all right, but they're not. <laughs> oh, they are for they banned cluster bombs, but obviously not. <laughs> Good thing for you, Dan. They've only got another three hours and twenty nine minutes, and then a new kit comes out. So you just <laughs> grabs. Grabs your, your, grabs your pickle. Uh, there we go then. Napoli, number five, top of this area at this current moment. Of, I say current moment. 16 points, lads, in it. They've definitely won that league. Uh, 28 points on our list overall this week. Right, moving on. To <laughs> They're a Bologna. whole Sampdoria clear in the table. That's how far <laughs> clear they are. Well, yeah, that's that's true. Shame there's no kits of them, though, mate. That would have been nice. If you oh. could grab some of them that you had out the other day. I'll be over that one. Number four on our list then, with 33 points overall scored from our rankers. We're off to France and Gay Paris. We're up, it's the PSG third shirt. I'm wearing the uh, Dry Fit Advance version of the home. £51, boys, from uh, Cheshire Oaks. You know Cheshire Oaks. <laughs> I, I know, I know. I couldn't believe it. So this is the third shirt. Should be the whole, the away shirt. Me and Jay have had this conversation a couple of times privately. This should be the away shirt, and the third shirt should no, the away shirt should be the third shirt. Anyway, um, you might not be happy with me, but I put it second in my list because I like it. Um, colors. This is why I bought this. I just think it's nice. 
it's it, it's nice. I don't know. Sue me. And I don't care what you think. Sean has put it in third place. He's put it third. And he says, he don't say anything. He just said it's a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 on his night out rating. That's all he said. Uh, going through the rankers, who, who would like to talk about it first? Anyone keen? I'll go. No. I'll, 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 I'll go. I'll, um, I, I quite I do like this kit. I think um, I think it's got a lot going for it. It's good. I think you know, like you said, the colours. I like PSG and in like the white kids, especially when they wear like the white shorts as well, and it's just quite imposing, especially on like a European night. Uh, there you go, exactly that with with Messi on it as well. Um, <laughs> but f- the reason, like, it's got so much good stuff going for it. But the reason why it's not like at the top is there's a few things that take it down for me. Like the one is the is the stupid night template this season. I've I've just absolutely hated every part of it. The fact that it just cuts into this weird little semicircle. I feel like I've said those words so many times. By the way, in this yeah. season, every video, <laughs> even videos that got nothing to do with night. You, you mentioned just, it. I'll just, it's like a, it's, it's a weird, it's like a twitch for me now. I have to just say it and get annoyed with it. Um, cause it is, it's, it's really grinded my gears this season. So that, that takes it down a notch. Uh, the centralized badges looks class. And then the Qatar Airways just, just stops this really nice, clean design to make yeah. a lot of way, you know, just for the sponsor. And, you know, if you look, take example from the 90s kits where they're kind of on top of the stripe with like an outline would have been so much better. So like for me, it's a good kit with just a few flaws and that's why it wasn't like higher up for me. But I did have it in fourth, to be fair. It's definitely better than some of the other ones. No, I, I, absolutely. Um, I, w- I will say, obviously, the night template, like I say, it's caused a lot of, Contention within within the sort of kit community and that, and I, obviously I have a couple of the just the dry fit the, the Brazil ones I've got on that template from the World Cup, and obviously this is the first dry fit advance I've I've owned of it, and you can feel the difference within it as you can probably imagine. Like with this, you can hardly tell it's got that that sort of semicircle. Other than looking at the design, you can tell. Whereas mm-hmm. I feel like in the Brazil one, I was wearing the away one the, the other day, and you can actually feel like the the semicircle being there. But obviously, you can imagine that. Obviously, a lot of lightweight material, breathable, a lot better. Um, obviously, in, in the design. But I, I know, I know what you're saying, mate. And I think maybe they've learned from that. You look at the template they're doing for the, the Women's World Cup. Hopefully, they're going to be a lot better. I, th- I think it's a nice shirt, Dom. What do you think? Because you had it in seventh place. Just not a fan. Yeah, look, I'll not be overly negative. Um, and Jay's touched on most of the points that um, it does has uh, well has some redeeming features. And I do like the fact that there's a match up between that and the one that you're wearing. But uh, yeah. yeah, just can't get on board with that massive H and the template just winds me up. <laughs> oh, I've never even noticed that. You. Yeah, big old H. Oh, it's not. Uh, it's really nice. Yeah, it's not it's not as bad as the the Brighton one. That's worse. To be honest with you. Yeah, that's pretty. pretty that even highlights it with the bloody yellow as well. Uh, all right then, fair enough. Uh, Dan, we'll finish off with you. Sixth place for you in your list. It's not a triumph for you then, no. No, no. I just think it's just sort of like again. I've got to agree with uh, Jay that that template is absolutely done my fucking head in. I hate <laughs> it. Um, <laughs> The fact that it's all centralised and then it has Qatar and then the airways is offset. It's like, oh, <laughs> you know, you had, yeah, you had one job. Um, so, yes, yeah, that. And then the Nikes below the badge, which reminds me of the Scummers kit this year. That could literally be the Scummers kit. So, I, Samson, sorry. Um, not sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it's just, you know what it is? I like. I, I really enjoy it, like a matching home and away kit, like the literally your your kit there uh, yeah. down to this one. I like. I love a flipped um, system. I think it's great. I think it's good when teams do it, like you know Palace do it, fucking Venetia did it, fucking the last ten years. But it looks good. This is just like it was so predictable. This this is what you were going to get as a, for a PSG kit this year, and it just turned yeah. up. And you're like, yeah, we 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 knew it was going to happen. The template, the template is awful. It's just, it's, it's awful. It's just so bad. I mean, it would be better if that colour ran up into yeah. the neck and then just carried it on. And 
like you say, even if the band was thinner, the guitar airways and just something just, it's just, I don't know, it's just so, we've well, had such great kits in the last 10, 15 years to then end up with, this is just, this is such an on the pile shirt. And they, and they release so many kits. It's just, you know, they, they're becoming a bit of a Napoli sort of thing. So it's, it's yeah, not for me. So, to so, summarise, Dan thinks it's um, crappy. Okay, uh, so there we go. PSG fourth, fourth overall. <laughs> um, a pancake. Think, a what? A pancake. <laughs> said um, crappy, um, crap. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> uh, that took me a sec. That took me. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should do the puns. Right. <laughs> we'll move on to third place. Right. So there we are. Fourth, 33 points. Fourth place, 36 points overall. A team that Messi played for back in his day. Barcelona and their third shirt from this season. Sadly for two of the, the rankers, it's that dreaded night template again. Um, so we, uh, let's start with them then. Uh, Dan, we'll start with you on this one. Because you had it in saying that you talk about a template and shite, and it's second. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, I literally I hate this template yeah. so much. But the the badge reminds me of the crossover. You know when Palmer and Sampdoria had their the the Gemellagio when they have their little swap over. Oh yeah. Basically, Palmer had a no Sampdoria had the blue Chiando, but in a Palmer cross. It just reminded me of that. Um. I like the fact that the spot is is the you know the, the clear out to, to the colour, yeah. but yeah, I mean again, if that was just a, a if that had a, a round neck and then up into a nice round neck with like a co- like a normal collar rather than that awful template, it it might have been rivaling first, you know. And I, I really don't like Barcelona kits. I, I I find them nauseating because of the amount of Messi kits everyone constantly fucking posts on their <laughs> Instagram. Um, so yeah, it's. I sort of forgave it a little bit because I liked the the Sampdoria in this of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. I'll allow it. Well, well you know, <laughs> high praise if ever there was any. Uh, Dom, we'll come to you on on this one. Uh, fourth on your list. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a thing to be said about this template. Well, this shirt is specifically. I think this is the worst of. This te- or the the difference between advanced and just standard dry fit, and it being almost looking like two different shirts. Obviously, this is the the, the advanced one. What has this shirt on its own? It's it's, it's, a, it's a it's a great shirt, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to like about it. I think the um, badge and the manufacturer are framed really well. Um, they're as you know, complete polar opposite to their last um, sponsor banding. This is yeah. done a lot more uh, sensitively um, and, and works really well within that that space as well, without it detracting away from the, you know, the main um, artistic feature. So yeah, um, I wish I do like any normal sane person would wish that um, arch wasn't there at all and that just continued up, even if it had a collar or a, you know, a crew neck. But it doesn't, so it can't get anywhere higher. Looks good on as well on pitch. How good would that be if that went into a collar? Oh, no, yeah. the colour going into a collar. Fuck me, Abby. That would be special. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, Jay. It was it was fifth on your list. Do you think Nike could regret this template and how many banging kits they've brought out that have just been let down by the finish around the neck? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, what you just said there, mate. The, imagine the collar that. That'd be insanely good. Yeah, it's it's a, it's crazy. Like whoever sat there and thought, you know, we'll just stop the design and have like this weird little like detached part of the kit. Or just and and whoever said you're a genius, mate, they need they need firing, man. It's insane. <laughs> like I don't understand it. It has, like you say, it has ruined so many good kits. This is a good kit that has just been ruined by a design yeah. that just stops like it's hit his head on the way up or something. So yeah, I'm. Uh, you, you know why I don't like this one, but everything else that you guys have said about the design and stuff is bye and it is really cool. Yeah, and a, a grey kit done really well. You know, it's all grey as well. So, shout out to, to Nike for that, at least. I think they've done, 
to have wondered with it. It's just like I say that that template does does seem to irk too many people <laughs> in the shirt selling space. But Barcelona, their third place on our list this week, thirty six points overall. Like we're getting to the nitty gritty. Two teams left to look through. Uh, oh, do you know what? I didn't even go through a bit of the old thingy me jigs, did I? Um, Spain. What did Sean? Sean had Spain. Uh, not Sean. Sean had PSG in third place. Uh, seven out of ten. Barcelona. He had in. Had it in seventh place. He had it in seventh place, but give it a seven out of ten as well for you. Um, <coughs> bit of facts. PSG are six points ahead of Lons. 30 games played. Barcelona, 12 points ahead of Real. 27 games, 27 games played, one less game than Real. So, they, yeah, they're smashing that league this year. Um, but, yeah, let's get into shirt number two. Uh, 40 points overall. Currently bricking it because of the draw yesterday. <laughs> Arsenal and their pink shirt. Yeah, Arsenal and a pink shirt. Uh, I put it fifth in my list. Pink shirt, of all the pink shirts I've seen, it's probably one of the worst. I, I'm not a fan of it. I like the detail in it, but meh. I, I'll, I'll move on pretty quickly for me. Sean, fifth as well. And you give it a glorious now rating of three out of ten. That tells you what he thinks. That's, that tells you what he thinks. Um, Dom, let's kick it off with you on this one. Because mm-hmm. you, you like this one. Second on, on your list. Yeah, I got it right. right. Um, I, it's the mainly the detail, which is, um, if I'm right, that's from the older badge. Yeah. Um, that's kind of dotted across symmetrically, and it goes onto the sleeves as well. Um, pink, I don't mind as a colourway, and obviously, um, I think with them being the London Leicester and them already having had a pink kit, ties in quite well. So I'm hoping it's an omen. I'll be honest. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting pelters about that today on, on Twitter calling them, calling them the London Leicester people were not happy um, no you're right but I think you know we've seen pink I think even United's pink kit was better than this the, the horrible throwback to the, the MEN pink I think even that was better I, Chevro- just, Chevrolet I'm, ruined that one though oh, but they ruined every kit I just think the, the blue with the lighter blue I just no it's not it's not for me um Jay, another person who had it second. Why am I wrong? Are you right? Why is it? Why is it? A, a... <laughs> Big question. That. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree with Dom. The the old badge uh, design is just wicked. Touch of class from Arsenal. They've done that with all of their kits this season, and to be yeah. fair, for the last couple of seasons, they've always got nice nods to the past, or or even just you know fun new things. They really do know how to smash a kit. Adidas have really treated Arsenal with a lot of respect over the years, which is is annoying. It's really annoying. And I'm sure you lads can can attest to that being United fans. Yeah. Um and it's yeah, I I like I like the pink colour. I think it's you know it's not too crazy. I I and to disagree with you, I really think the blue the baby kind of blue mixed with the navy blue works really well with the pink. It's something you might not have thought would work, but somehow mm. it does. And the colour there, and obviously the colours overlapping, which is nice. You got the Adidas three stripes on there as well. Yeah, I think it just hits all the right notes for me. No, fair enough. I, I will admit, with the shorts, it looks a lot mm. better. I think when, when it's singular, I, I don't know. But yeah, I, I can I can jump on board saying that you know the the, ba- the baby blue looked a lot better with that bit on the shorts and the pink at the bottom. You know, we are full kit rankers, so we judge the full kit sometimes. It looks a lot better when it's mm. like that. Someone who loved it more than everyone else really was a fan. Stonking oh. fan of it. it. was Dan at the top of his list. Tell us why, right. Dan. This this kit, oh mate, I was half masked into this when I first saw this coming out. Um, <laughs> I I I just love it. I for those reasons, yeah, pastel blue and a navy blue, amazing combo anyway. Um and then that beautiful, that pink, lovely. That's proper, like, dusty, like, not quite baby pink. Really good. I love the detail. I love that old Arsenal badge. You know, pretty, pretty much everyone does. Yeah. Just great. I just think it's just simple, really clean. That little bit of detail close up. Lovely colour. Oh, mate. Get in the pink. <laughs> great, great kit. Great kit. Get, get in the pink. Get in the pink. 
down. Get in, get in it, get in the shirt, get in the thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah. Always, 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 always good to, 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 to be in there. So, yeah. Well, after, after yesterday, a lot, a lot of the, the Arsenal fans are in the brown because they're shitting themselves about potentially not winning the league. So how do we feel, feel about that? <laughs> oh, mate, that was good. That was a good watch. Wow, it where's that Liverpool team been? It was a great game. That's all I thought that was there playing Bay United. Oh, um, come on. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on. We'll move on. Um, there we go then. Second place on our list. Did I give you Sean? I did give you Sean. Um, we'll give it a three out of ten. There we go then. Shirt number two on our list this week. 40 points overall. It's the Arsenal third shirt. Will they go on to win the league? Is yet to be seen. Manchester City breathing down their necks. They need to be looking over the shoulder. Right, one shirt left. Don't need to look over their sh- shoulder because they are the number one shirt for this week. 43 points from our rankers. We've been most leagues in Europe. Only Belgium let us down because they didn't have a third shirt. We are missing, obviously, Germany and the big team in Germany, obviously. Bayern Munich, this is their third shirt for this season. Very similar to the Arsenal. If you look at that pattern in their uh, template as well. Just done better. Just done better. Uh, third on my list. I like it. it it's I didn't so much like it like this, and I flip flopped. I'll tell you now. I'll hold my hands up. I flip flopped when I looked at the picture of it in the full kit, and I was like, "Yeah, that's beautiful. I have to get that higher. That's ridiculous." Uh, no one had it outside the top five. Um, Dan had it lowest in fifth. So, like I say, no one outside the top five. For you, why was it not deserving of a higher place, Dan? Well, if I put the final kit right at the bottom, then I've got to put this one. <laughs> pretty close to it. It's yeah, the final kit in, in red. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, you know what? It, it's hard because this the fourth kit they've got this year is unbelievable. Like that kit is fucking yeah. unreal. Yeah. And then you know, but this is yes, it's fine. They always produce decent enough kits. It, you know, it, it's it's good. It's solid. It's not shit. It's not. It's, it's, you know, I can't see in 10 years people going, oh, yeah, let's go, make, you know, let's go get this one because they always had like a black kit or, you know, a dark colour kit. So, yeah, it's just, it's good, it's clean, it's well done, but it's not, you know, it's not getting me, me juices flowing. So, I'm I'm going to leave it, leave it on the rack. Yeah, you, you do, you do that, man. That's fine. So, you know, each to their own. Uh, currently two points ahead of uh, Dortmund, 27 game played in the league, someone whose juices did kind of judge a little bit was uh, Sean. Second place for him. Highest score this week, 9 out of 10 for him on his night out rating. So not too bad. Um, two other people liked it even more than that. We'll start with Jay. Uh, it was top of the pile for you, pal. Why is this the best third shirt from the leagues we've seen this season? Or the leaders of the league? This season? Yeah, it's, it's so clean. I think Bayern are, are really good at making clean kits. You know, and they're just just simple, but but working really well. I think, uh, you know, everything we said about the Arsenal kit, like the the colour, the Adidas, the it's very simple, just black and red as well, which is nice. The red really pops out of it. But then there's the the base of it is it's based on like playing cards, which just gives it that luxurious, beautiful kind of vibe to it. And there's a, a, there's some like cool photos of like the, the players like playing like poker or something, which for the campaign shoot, which really sold me as well. I thought that was really cool. They dressed as dogs. Uh, unfortunately not mate unfortunately not um, that's why you need to be on the art direction and not the, the people the bozos that are but... Thomas, would, uh, Thomas Moore would be a Labrador <laughs> the next uh, kit will be a, a like a snooker theme would well. Musiala be like a dashing do you reckon yeah amazing, amazing. <laughs> I'm, uh, Alfonso Davis is a whip it I'm down the <laughs> Just, just oh, shivering a little bit. He's shivering. He's got. He's got. He's just got a pair of threes. Just shivering. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, yeah, no, I, I love it. I think it, it's just class. It's silky. It's it's beautiful. And and to be fair, I probably biasly couldn't put Arsenal at the top. So I'll, I'll, I'd rather put Bayern. Do you know what? I didn't mention it. I think that's the highest you've ever put an Arsenal shirt, mate. I didn't. I should have mentioned that. Earlier, it, but, it's difficult, yeah. mate. It is. It's really difficult. But you know, you sometimes you have to hold your hands up. And so, like they, in the last couple of seasons, they've had great kits, haven't they? And yeah, I, I think that's stopping next season. I think the the leaks look a bit rubbish. But this yeah. time around, Bayern just about one. Do you 
just about one. There we go. Uh, and the final person, there it is. That that won me over. It looks stunning like that, I'm afraid. Black, the black shorts as well. It looks great. Mm. Dom, we'll, fin- we'll, finish off with you. we'll finish off with you. First for you as well. Yeah. Uh, rightly, rightly the best shirt we've seen then out of the 10. Yeah, especially considering what the second one was as well, in that it's the same same template, but different different colorway. Like the Arsenal one's like nice. And this yeah. one's like a evil or not. I was I was gonna say naughty, but um oh. yeah, it just looks like a like a bit of a darker version, um, because it's black. <laughs> um, and yeah, it looks a bit yeah, it looks a bit evil. I like it. Um I think the <laughs> things around it. Um, look decent. Plus, I, I prefer. I do like. I do really like dark shirts because you never know when you're on the cusp of a, a funeral. So yeah, if, uh, if you ever need to get called into one, okay. Just yeah. get to be yeah. at a funeral. <coughs> yeah, I mean, yeah it'd any... be a talking point. Mm. I go, um, go for that tuxedo shirt if I'm going to go for any shirt. But, <laughs> at least I'm not mad. You know what I mean. Um, <laughs> Fair enough, mate. I mean, I think you know. I think we're right. It, should, it, it, it is the best. It, it is a nice shirt, regardless of what Dan says. Do you know, what I mean? <laughs> you know what? It's just the fact that Bayern are just buying in age. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. almost like it's almost like they've gone. All right, let's drop the charade. We are the the evil <laughs> German side that, that, that steals <laughs> everyone's players and dominates the league. Oh, he struggled again to win another fucking plate. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> oh god, that was. Do they even celebrate anymore? Do, 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 do they even like, cheer it on? No, I doubt it. But there we go then. Number one on our list this week of the European League leaders, 10 teams from European leagues. Bayern Munich coming top of the pile, which they used to do in anyway. So it made sense that they were going to win 43 points overall from our rankers. Well, there we go. That's this week's show. And I will just do what I always have to do and just show you Everyone scores, so you know that I don't cheat, and it is all legit. And everyone, where are you? Yeah. Go on, you yeah. Where are you? Yeah, it's right. There you go. Look at that. Everyone scores. You can see it. I don't cheat. There we go. That's it then. That's this week's show all done. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed looking at the ten shirts we've ranked. Big shout out to everyone that's watched. If you've liked, if you've commented, let us know in the comments what you think of the 10, if you liked them or if you didn't, if we're wrong in where we've all placed them. I'm sure you won't agree because, you know, that would be boring if you did. Big thank you to our rankers for joining this week. Dan, mate, I can't, I'm seeing you in my dreams. I'm seeing you that much these days. So, big thank you to you. Not that it's a bad Can't thing. Find the window. Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think Hannah's I think Hannah's asleep, so you'll be all right tonight, mate. Um, but yeah, no, mate, thank you so much again for, for coming on. It's a, it's a massive pleasure. Pleasure, mate. So, pleasure. Just give, just give the Instagram a shout out because it's uh, it, it's amazing. So people need to be uh, getting it. Yeah, just just show it's the fan83 uh, underscore now. Thanks, Instagram. Uh, so yeah, just on there. Um, and we just, we just, yeah, just nonsense. Just absolute nonsense. Shirts and nonsense. That's it. Eat his dick. That's what life's all about. Uh, let's have a text. Um, no, I'm not. And now on my ass, she said. So, yeah. <laughs> the edit will be an hour. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, mate, Dan, thank you again so much uh, for, for joining us. Um, anyone got a spare room? I can come around tonight. Uh, Jay, my buddy, thank you so much again for, for hopping on. It's a pleasure to, to share the screen with you. And talk kit. Uh, tell everyone about the wonderful world of retro football kit, the YouTube channel, and of course the website. Yeah, thanks, mate. Thanks for having me on. I, I love love coming on and, and talking nonsense. It's great. Um, yeah, retro football kits. We sell shirts, and we also have a wonderful YouTube channel. If I do say so myself, where we talk about a bunch of different football kits. Do top fives. We do tier lists. We also do random videos like running in in football kits, like the the one we mentioned at the start of the show. So yeah, if you're into it, if you love this content, you should love ours as well. So. I'd uh, appreciate if you checked it out. Yeah, make sure you do. Obviously, the link will be in the description, as always. I'm a right-hand man, Dom. The king, the kick king. Thank you again for always yes. being here. Uh, love the video you put out for Falcon Rankers. It's got a lot of love on the socials as well. It's been absolutely brilliant, mate. 
Mate, yeah. we've had so many good guests. It's hard not to. No, you're right. It is. And then worldwide, yeah. wide, wide. I know. Yeah, international. Do you know what I mean? Mr. International. Is that who was that with that pitbull, Mr. International? I thought we are now. <laughs> we've taken that title off him. We're Fucking Mr. Dean Saunders, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Uh, anything got going on? Anything you can tell the pe- the lovely people watching? Nope. Follow <laughs> these. Fine, Get, fine. Like, follow these and yeah. yeah, subscribe. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, that is it from us at our new time of six o'clock on a, a Wednesday. So, yeah, this, just make sure you're always here now. Bell notification will always help you anyway. Uh, we've got loads of content coming up. Obviously, Desert Island Kits is made a storming comeback, and there'll be more episodes coming every Sunday as well for you. So, make sure you're getting involved, liking the videos, subscribing to the channel. At the time of recording, we're almost at 500. So, yeah, make sure you, you get a little there because we need to grow. So, yeah, get involved. Become a kit head. That's what it's all about. Thank you to my guests. Thank you for you to watching. As always, though, whatever you do, just make sure that you keep talking kit. Mm-hmm.